so today I'm doing an updated hair care routine just because today I went to get a trim finally my ends are trimmed and my hair is looking much healthier it's still pretty long it's till here but yeah it looks way healthier so I decided why not to do an updated hair care routine since yesterday uh, I also got my roots done if you watched my previous hair care routine, which I'm gonna link in the info bar, I told you guys that I'm dyeing my hair at home. I'm not going to the salon to get my hair dyed. Me and my mom, we use the same dye, so we buy one pack. We used to use L'Oreal, but yesterday we got back to this dye and we used to use these like in the past when I just started dyeing my hair. And I really like how the color turned out. It's it's not yellowish at all. It's just a very nice shade of blonde. Kind of cool toned. And this is Garnier Nutris. And the color is Sandy Blonde. 1013. There's the number in the corner. So now I'm go just gonna go through my routine. What I do in the shower and out of the shower. So I'm currently washing my hair with these two shampoos, both by L'Oreal. I'm just alternating between the two. The first one is the drugstore shampoo. It's Elvital Total Repair Replenishing Shampoo. And it's just okay, just the regular shampoo, very inexpensive, nothing spectacular. It says for full body hair, strength, vitality, silky touch and shine. Which, I don't know, I haven't noticed that because I haven't been using it for that long. But, I'm yeah, I'm enjoying. I, I kind of like this shampoo. And the other one is the Professional Shampoo. It's Shine Blonde uh, shampoo, Brightening Repair Shampoo for Blonde Hair. And basically, it's a purple shampoo. As you can see, it's totally purple. So, if you are blonde you will know that after about two weeks after dyeing the hair it begins to turn a bit yellowish it's not as cool toned anymore so purple shampoos are supposed to diminish the yellow undertones and i've recently watched the video of Elle Fowler and her hair stylist recommended not to use purple shampoos because they supposedly darken the roots which i haven't noticed personally and I just enjoy using the shampoo. I mean, I haven't noticed a huge difference, but I just really like the shampoo itself. Since it's a professional product, you only need a tiny bit of it. It lathers very, very well. It's very creamy, very rich shampoo, and it just washes your hair super well. And it smells good. I just love everything about this shampoo and would highly recommend it. Plus, I love how it comes with a pump. So easy to use. And they have a couple of these for different hair types in this range. So check this out. Definitely, but I really like this purple one. Now for conditioner, I'm currently using this one. If you watch previous video again, you'll have seen me talk about Crema a la Te, And they have... A couple of these conditioners I think four different ones this is it's this one it's, it's called fruta so it's with delicate fruit acids aha uh -huh, fruit acid I don't like this one at all it that cannot even compare to crema a la te, so I cannot wait to finish this up and use this one which is my absolute favorite conditioner I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because I've raved about it in the previous video so much basically it's just a conditioner with milk proteins that's amazing smells like caramel and I highly recommend you get it. I shampoo my hair and then I leave the mask on, I mean conditioner, like this conditioner on while I'm shaving myself and then at the end like of the shower I rinse out my hair and when I get out of the shower what I do, I apply this one and it's Kerastas Cement Thermique. It's heat activated reconstructing milk for brittle damaged hair. So basically this is a leave-in cream, but also a heat protectant. So I'm not using 
any spray heat protectants anymore on my hair just using this cream because it nourishes and protects the hair at the same time and I decided that I just don't want to overload my hair with products anymore and that's why I'm trying to minimize the amount of products that I use on my hair because I have very thin hair and it gets weighted down easily if I use too many products and I hate that feeling. I'm absolutely loving this is very hydrating product and I love the scent of it. Oh my god, it's it's a very green scent. It smells almost like grass, grassy kind of scent. Very fresh and just kind of very luxurious living treatment. So yeah, I love this one. Then I sprayed this one, it's by René Fertener and this is a French uh, hair care. So this is Shine Enhancing Detangling Spray and I have extremely tangly hair. Like today at a salon, the hairstylist said three times she complimented how soft my hair is, but after washing my hair, she could not comb it because it got so tangly. I always wash my hair at night and I let it air dry during the night when I sleep so it's much easier to brush it when it's dry and plus when the hair is wet it's at its weakest form so it's very you know it's very weak it's easy to damage and she was trying to comb it and it took her so long she used detangling sprays to basically try to detangle my hair but I love this product for that and it smells very good also, very fresh, kind of smells like lime, it has very, or vetiver, very green, I get a very fresh, amazing scent. So I just spray a generous amount of this all over my hair because it doesn't make my hair greasy at all. So, and it's so easy to brush my hair after using this product, so I highly recommend. And I got it in Paris in this mini size. And I cannot wait to finish it up and get a big bottle of it. I'm still washing my hair every second day, not every day. Because it's it's very bad to wash it every day. Plus my hair is extremely dry, extremely thin and fragile. And I always brush my hair before taking... Sorry, my boyfriend is calling me. And now I surely lost my train of thought. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. My boyfriend called me to ask what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. And he also called to ask about my grandfather. My grandfather is fine, thankfully. He had an operation, everything went well. I'm very extremely happy about that. So co let's continue on my hair. This is the tangling spray. Yes, I love it. I highly recommend it, go get it. Then I use on my on the ends of my hair I'm using Kerastase Elixir Ultime. This is the best hair oil you can find the most luxurious. It smells of like Tom Ford's Black Orchid, but some people say it just smells like gardenias and this is true because I've smelled the gardenia. And yes, exactly. It smells like gardenias. If you love that scent, you will love this. It's it's so luxurious, so beautiful, leaves my hair extremely, extremely soft and silky and very shiny. So I use it either on the dam hair, on my ends or when I style my hair with my Babyliss curling wand. I use it always to just tame the frizz and add shine to my hair. And I've tried macadamia, I tried a couple other oils, nothing compares to this one. This is my holy grail oil. And this is not a treatment, it's not gonna like nourish your hair, I suppose, because this is, has silicones in it, so it's more like a styling product. And then what I do next, I'm moving towards the styling products. I use my L'Oreal Elnets hairspray. I try not to use too, many, too much of hairspray because it's very bad. So I only use it when I curl my hair to make the curls last a bit longer. This is the best one. Now, when my hair gets 
greasy, a bit greasy. I mean, the second day it's not as great as just after washing, obviously. So the new dry shampoo I just found, and I absolutely love this one. It's by Sayos. I hate Sayos hair products. Just cannot stand anything from Sayos besides this one. This is amazing. It smells just like green tea and it's such a big plus for me because all the dry shampoos smell so bad. I mean, it's so powdery and just ugh. And this, when you spray it on, it smells like you've just washed your hair. Your hair smells so fresh. And this is Brush Out Dry Shampoo Anti-Grease. They have a volumizing one, which I haven't tried, but I love this anti-grease one. And the mist is extremely fine, so it's not like chunky powder. It's not, you know, doesn't leave your hair looking white and gross. I love this dry shampoo, highly recommend it. And then another styling product. A lot of people have been asking me to review this product. And this is Schwarzkopf Taft Instant Volume Powder. And I'm not using this, too much of this. Not every time I'm styling my hair, but when I want some volume, this is great. So this is just a powder like that. I mean, you put on your palm, rub between your palms, and just go like that. Massage into the roots, or you can directly pour on the roots of your hair, and then massage if you want like extra volume. And this is great, it gives a lot of volume, especially when you flip down your hair and then massage, you'll have amazing hair. But be very careful with this, use a tiny amount because it can make your hair very, very greasy looking and it's very sticky powder, so use just a little of it. Because if you use too much, your hair will be just glued together, it will be like a sticky nest on top of your head. But yeah, it's a good volumizing powder. And I'm also taking phyto vitamins, two pills a day, to keep my hair, my nails, my skin beautiful, basically. Uh, there has been a lot of going on when I mention vitamins, so I'm not gonna push or recommend too much, but this is what I'm taking every day. It's my second bottle, there are three for three months and I like this and I'm not gonna stop drinking them. If you have to brush your hair when it's wet, always start at the bottom and work your way up because this way your hair won't get more tangly because if you start from here, your hair gets tangled like around here and then you're trying to untangle it and it's just breaking the hair. So always untangle and work your way up with a brush and use a white tooth comb if you're brushing your hair when it's wet and if it's not I'll show you the brush I'm using. I love this brush so it has nylon I mean and plastic bristles so it's much softer it's it's great it makes the hair very shiny you know as you can tell I don't know the brand because it has rubbed off, but it was a more expensive hairbrush. And I like to invest in a good hairbrush, like my next one that I want is Mason Pearson brush, which I will sure get at one point because they're just so much better for your hair, hair especially if you are trying to grow out your hair, which I'm trying to. I mean, my hair is very long, but I still, I like the, I like long hair, I'm trying to keep it long at that length and healthy looking, of course. So I don't know whether I missed out on something or not. I think I didn't. So for now, that's all I'm using on my hair and just eat healthy, drink lots of water, all that, blah, blah, blah. blah. If you want to have healthy hair and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Obviously, today is not the day to film. I don't know why filming but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video anyways i'll talk to you guys later bye from it's a parisian skincare i mean parisian